Hello guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your body shape from this to this that you are seeing on your screen right now. Easy peasy, very simple, doesn't take your time. We are going to be changing the body shape of this lady from this to this. I know of course you might think I'm body shaming, but trust me, there are people that would want to have their image appear in such body shapes. And that is what we are going to be learning. Welcome to Photographics Academy. Uh, let's get started quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, so very simple. Duplicate your image for backup purposes. Make sure you convert it to smart object. You can just right click and click on convert to smart object, or you can go to your filters and go to convert for smart filter. So it's unchecked because the image, the layer is already in a smart object. That is the first step for backup purposes. The next thing we're going to be doing is going to your filter, go to your filter and go to your liquify. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. So all these sliders over here, all these tools over here are the tools you can use to change any part of the image, any part of the body you want to change, you want to add changes to. These are the tools you are going to use. So the first one we'll be working with is our forward warp tool. How does that work? So make sure your pressure is not entirely high so it doesn't look too much. Make sure your density is equally not too high. But I think I might just, okay, it's okay, it's working. We'll just use it like that. So the next thing you are going to be doing is to notch the areas you want to, you want to achieve. You notch them out the way you want it to be. So I want to make sure I have a very nice curve over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to notch, going to notch gradually, just notch gradually, notch gradually like this. One of the secrets of liquify is you should not hit too much because if you drag too much per time, it's going to make the whole thing look messy. So I'm just going to make it look quite, uh, quite obvious so you can see exactly what we've been able to do. Nice. Okay. So I think I need a little cut over here. So you notice that when I get to the arm, I increase the brush. The reason I'm doing that is so that the whole area, including the arm, will shift so that it will not be looking weird if we shift just the hips. Okay. So we'll have a nice curve here for now can come here and nudge here out as well this area nudge it out as well nudge it out as well nice okay so we're having a nice call nudge here out as well remember that we are using our forward warp tool remember we are using our forward warp tool so we'll just nudge out so the next place i'm going to be affecting is obviously here so now we are nudging inwards we are nudging inwards so like this push it in a little Make sure you avoid the fingers as much as you can. So we are trying to achieve this same curve we have over here. Over here. Same thing like this. Nice. Okay, so don't do too much. The hand will start looking distorted. Look at the changes already. Before, after. Before, after. Already looking amazing. Already looking amazing. So one more thing I like doing is I like squinching the whole middle at once so that it gives me a very perfect shape in the center there. So what I, the one I'm going to be using to do that is our is our pocket tool called pocket tool so i'm going to click it make it as large as this area like this i'm going to make it as large as this area so it just quenches in from that area so i will increase the pressure a little is it okay doesn't use pressure that's nice all right so i'll just like the name implies but it see the one I'm clicking it is quenching the whole area in squinching the whole area in can as well do bring it down a little and do one more so this is before this is before this is after still looking very realistic before after so another thing i feel i would want to do is i want to make some few adjustments to the dress the lines and all of that so if you want to do that as well you can pick up your your forward warp tool and move things but the one i want to use is my is my push left my push left so i'm going to use that one if you notice my pressure and my density they are, they are quite low and I am not going to be changing it in this particular one. So I want to make here look straight. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to run it as a straight line like this one. Do not do it too much. So just be running it over. It will keep pushing it until you get a straight line on the dress and you are good to go. Nice. So I think I want to do it here as well. So just like this. Wow. Already settled. So if I feel like I want to bring out this part of her clothes, but I feel like I want to bring out this part of our clothes. I can equally use this technique and just keep 
moving it like this until that part of the cloth is straightened or i can actually just use my my forward warp tool and drag it but i just wanted to show you that you have other options that can allow you to do the same thing so the same way i can equally adjust the line of this uh design in the front of our dress so i can just drag it like this and it's pushing it down until we get a straight line until we get a straight line like this nice you can probably do it here to make it to make this place go in so that you get a very nice shape on the dress like this beautiful so just assume the way the dress would have been looking like like in real life the way it would have been looking like in real life so once you probably push here in like this Want to push here in like this want to push here in okay so i think this is already too much let's pick our warp tool our forward warp tool and just notch here up a little to make the whole thing look very very aligned bring here down bring here down like this bring here down like this. so let's look at the before and after but this was before this was after this was before this was after let me zoom out a little so you can see the overall before and after so this was before this was after before after before after before after amazing changes so the next thing i want to do is i want to push out her boobs a little so i'm going to pick up my 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 bloat tool it's called bloat tool then i'll just assume the size of her bust or her boobs like this and just nudge it as much as i want you can just click and hold it to keep bulging it out like that so look at this area is looking already unrealistic so you have to probably drag here up a little to make it look very very realistic like this nice do the same thing over here and we already have a nice boobs there okay so can as well push the middle inwards can push the middle inwards to give you that cleavage feeling okay so let's look at what we'll have we'll have before after before after before after so at this point you just press ok and go back so if you feel you needed to adjust something you needed to change something that is why we use our the, our uh, smart object for liquify so i just noticed i made a mistake so i'm just going to go back and continue from where i stopped so we are back so i want to equally use my i want to use my push to push left to to make some adjustment to the curves to make it look curvy as much as possible so this this time we are not nudging look at the way it's giving it very nice curve it's no longer nudging it's just giving us nice curves look at the way the curve is appearing then we'll do the same thing over here so this one is pushing inwards this one is pushing inwards so the technique is i will do it from ground so it comes out because if we do it from up it pushes inwards so we'll do it from ground so that it pushes it out like that so it gives us that realistic curve effect like this it curves it in effectively like that in a way that it looks very realistic sorry that was a mistake so just bring it here out a little and we are good to go so i think i i like the result i have now although i need to do a little nudge in here as well let's do a little nudge in here as well nice beautiful so press ok now we are good so this was the image before we entered lupify this was the image after lupify so take your time do all you want to do if you feel like you do not want this line you can actually create a mask for it i just noticed an odd an odd movement here. you can create a mask for it and just restore one or two places if you feel like you do not want that curves there you know, do not want that line okay so you can as well use your you can as well use your uh use your liquify to adjust your tummy i just noticed that our tummy botched out a little so we'll probably pick our pocket tool like we called it before and just pinch it in like this a little pinch it in like this or you can actually introduce dodge and bone quickly just to brighten that area up and make sure you have a very nice result so this was the image before this was after before and after thank you for watching this amazing video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and see you on our next video please do not forget to click on the notification button to get notified every single time we drop a new video see you